What's happening, folks, and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow FM Twenty One Series. We're going to Young Town on Foot Manager, and we see how it gets on the course of their careers. Many players that I pick. You guys in the comment section can also pick players you want to look at as well. Um, in, in in Discord, so in Discord, not comment in Discord. Down below in Discord, there's a link there where you can put your players in. I did want to nice show a screenshot of those players and go from there. So. I'm going to do a different style of video today, guys. We'll, we'll try and nail down this style for next year because I think next year I will do this series again. That's my announcement in today's video. Do you want? Do you want to do the transfer fee and the tra and the scouting because that's all relative to your scout to your scout level, isn't it? Or do you would or would you prefer me to look at the stats and tell you what his range is on the editor, like the potential ability range and what you know and that kind of thing? Uh, let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think on that because that way we can just fine tune this series for next year uh, and we can go and then we can hit the ground running next year with, with the content again. Um, so today's player is Marco Canna. I've, I apologise if I said that wrong, but that's what I'm going with. Uh, defensive midfielder, 14 passing, 14 technique and ta ta technique, um, decent mentals across the board as well. Physicality, not great, you know, all across the board, but then he's, he's young, he get, he'll get better, so we don't really focus on that too much right now. There's no player traits on him. Um, he's very strong on his right foot and weak on his left foot. Um, DM or CM can play either role. Um, I may even set back, set back as well, but I think CM is not going to be that much an issue. You can, you can definitely be, be, be train him to play in that role. In his contract, there is no release clause in his contract, so you, there's nothing like a fee to negotiate with there. Um, not, not negotiate. If there's nothing like a fee, you've got to pay at the start of the game. But he did just sign a new contract. Now, it's really slowing the game up at this point, so um, you probably can't sign for this anyway, so transfer fee is not really relevant, is it really? That's why I'm thinking ditching transfer fee negotiations, because not every player is going to have a transfer fee negotiation a bit chance, because... If you sign your contract or just move clubs, you can't sign first season. So, first time below in the comments, you guys, those of you who have long time views of this series will, will sure have an opinion on that. So, first jump, let's go. All right, folks, he's still at Anderlecht, worth £11.75 million. Contract, he's got a £29 million release clause in there, or 29.5. So, bear that in mind that not saying it'll happen in your save. They've, in this save, they've, they've put a new contract in, new, new release clause in his contract there. And relatively similar stats 15 and 15 now on passing and tackling, and technically up to 14. Still, still the same mental stats, relatively speaking, and also physical stats are relatively the same, though a slight increase in, the, in, in a few of them. We've got a new uh, player trait, which is try kill balls often. I think he's a DM, um, maybe a CM, DM playmaker kind of thing. Um, just That's just my hint. My feeling on him. I mean, could he be a centre back? I mean, five foot ten, heading thirteen, marking thirteen, maybe, maybe. But I'd say you've got to, if you're going to do that with him, you've got to get this. In my opinion, you've got to get him in the centre back position quickly and train him in there quickly rather than waiting because otherwise, it gets too old and it's going to be harder to to change that. But I think you could at least make him a backup centre back. Uh, so yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. Injury record here. Pretty damn good. Happy with that. Um, clear stats. So, so look, if, he, if, he's, if he's playing, he's not getting the goals, is he looking at this? Uh, no goals that season or assists. One goal, two assists. Yeah, I mean, based on the fact he's playing DM, he's not going to get many goals in this. He's probably, he's probably going to get a lot of assist assists. By which I mean, he sets he, he he gets the ball to the guy who he gets the ball to the guy who gets the assist. He's playing DM, but if he's playing CM, maybe get more. Maybe box to box or tackling midfielder could be there because I don't know. He's kind of a player you can mould. I think to be honest with you, I think he's definitely a player you can kind of mould into a maybe maybe a centre back. Maybe if you if you think you can make that work, definitely do that and play maker with the passing and technique that he has. Tackling there is definitely an opportunity for that to, to go there. So, yeah, I'm going to see what stats develop and which way he kind of leans towards. Let's find out. All right, folks. So now he's 24 years old. He's still worth £12.25 million around that figure. And looking at this, I make him a CDM or a CM. I don't, want, I don't think he's playing centre-back. Though I think on the emergency, he could play there. Because of the player traits here that we've just seen here. Kill balls often. Dictates tempo, looks for a pass from attention to score, move on to right side for dribbling, obviously right foot. So make him a CM or DM. Um definitely. Uh just 
stands out. Leadership 16, though, 24 years old, which is interesting. Good balance mental stats across the board. Pretty damn good. He's a quite a nice player, isn't he? Uh, to be honest with you. Nice little hidden gem, maybe, a little bit here. And again, of course, for your own training, you can make him better. Um, injury prone, he is not. Good to see. And then looking at his stats here. So when we go to run right here, want it? Then he got one goal, two assists. One goal, three assists. Three assists that season. Three goals, one assist. And then this season's currently not started yet. So yeah, and looking at transfer fees, you're looking at 30 million um, tops. Um, now, I'm assuming that they won't charge more for a non-European side because, they, you know, that's, I don't know. I've never actually negotiated something like that before. With like, when it says like continental competition, would the team naturally then decide, well, it, I don't have to pay. You don't have to, you know, for example, let's say I was Everton and somehow I wasn't in Europe, for example. No, no respect to Everton, just picking around the team ahead. Uh, someone played to United, United today, so I went with them. Um, and they were in Europe. Would they then ignore that release clause and say, well, we'll ask for 40? You know, I don't know how the game works in that regard. Um, but at least if you're in Europe, you can get for 26, 45 million pounds in this scenario. So, um, yeah, let's continue. But 60 passing, leadership technique, yeah, didn't have Femica for sure. And he's still at Anderlecht. I'm surprised that no one's picked, like a decent European side picked him up for like a decent amount of money. Um, same stats on him as mental, physical and technical um, overall, merely. Um, looking at the traits, they're still the same. Injury record. There's a lot of injuries here, but a lot of slight injuries. So I'm not too concerned by that, me personally. You guys maybe feel differently on that yourselves, but this is not really concerning me as a problem. Um Oh, I've gone, gone, gone off him. One second, guys. Um, so, yeah. How has he, has he got more double goals and assists recently in the last few week, seasons? So, two assist, two goals, four assists. One and two. One and six assists. Two and three. And this is obviously the current season. But, yeah, he's a nice player. I like him. Um, I just wonder if you, can, if you can get him early on, how much more you can get out of him yourselves. Um, obviously, I'm going to do a little things differently in this series, I'm going to try some experiments, things out like setting the max potential to the highest rating maximum and see if that makes a difference to the development of players. I think that's the problem we're having is there's plenty of good players who've got high potential ratings, but we're not getting them to develop. Um, so, um, yeah, let's continue, guys. One more jump. I just want to see if anything changes massively. I doubt it will, but we'll have a look. All right, folks. So, relatively simple Um Ending to the review, nothing's really changed at this point. Obviously, the physicals have gone down, but that's expected at 32 years old. So you've got a player who can play, I think, CM um, CM and DM definitely. At a push if you think you need him at centre-back as well. He doesn't look like he's overly expensive. Um, the maximum fee we saw we would def- guarantee have to pay was around £30 million. Pounds. That's based on their release clauses, though. They may not be the same in your game. Um, and just a shame we didn't move to another, to, to another to, to a better club. Uh, or bigger, bigger league to see how he cut with that. But nice, solid little player here. Hope you enjoyed this review. Um, let me know, guys, if you've signed yourself and how you got on for you. Or if you're going to sign yourself based on this review. Um, down below, guys, my Discord. Get involved in that. There's a section there literally, literally for this series where you can give ideas. I am asking, I'm asking for screenshots of players if you can so I can see them develop. If you want to send it to it privately so you don't spoil the video, even better. Um, don't forget, hit the like button down below. It does help channel out massive. Every like helps channel out. We're trying to get a good fan base and viewer base built up for FN22 comes out. Don't forget to check out FIFA content as well on this channel. Uh, it's still ongoing with that. I've got a game on here against Sheffield United as I'm watching this. Um, and yes, don't forget on Twitch. I'm now streaming live on Twitch more regular with some watch-alongs and foot manager streams as well. So if you, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, like I said, and subscribe for daily content on this channel. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.